Hey guys, it's me, the baddest. I lost my voice, but I'm back with another YouTube video. So if you guys wanna see how I brought my wig, my old chair wig from three years ago back to life, I'm gonna show you guys in this video. So make sure you keep watching. Body, it's me the baddest i'm back i'm here again with another one it's a little different setup i'm in my bedroom as you can see it's very blacked out very much dark grays and all of that i have my books and all my candles these books that i never read and the nerve of me to buy another book and all my other books are looking at me like bitch you ain't even read us yet but yeah I got my humidifier, my Himalayan salt, my candles. I'm just in here because while I do what I'm about to do, um, I'm gonna clean up my filming room because it's a mess. It's not only is it my filming room, but it's also like my room for my business. It's my studio, it's my office. So it's a mess right now because I just sent out a whole bunch of products and everything like that. But yeah, I'm gonna clean that room up while I'm boiling my wig. So as you guys can tell by the title of this, <laughs> this wig really looks bad. As you guys can tell by the title of this um, video that I'm going to be bringing my old wig back to life. Now this wig, this baby, she has been with me for years, like four years. First of all, I just want y'all to get into the sewing. I don't know if y'all can see it. I just want y'all to get into the sewing child. I did that. I made this wig um about three years ago whoever doesn't know i went to an hbcu um and i chaired on the team for four years i was actually the person who made it a thing to wear our natural hair on that specific team hey fifis before i made that change we all had to pretty much wear wigs or weaves um because my coaches wanted us to look very similar and it was kind of scary on a team full of pretty much like we had like one or two or a couple light skinned girls but it was a lot of chocolate girls we were all pretty much shaped the same sometimes you would not be you really would not be able to tell us apart like you wouldn't know who was who but yeah this was my wig my old trusty i took her apart and put her t back together a couple times this hair is actually from julia hair and i remember because this is the only wig and the only hair that i felt like wow this hair lasted a really long time like the wig still looks really full which is why I have no problem pulling it out when I'm ready to pull it out. I'm going somewhere this week. I'm going to look like a bad Yana. I haven't worn this wig in probably over a year because I haven't been chairing and because of COVID and because of the fact that I haven't been going anywhere. But this weekend, something in me said, ciao, bring Bianca out. So Bianca is here and I'm going to show you guys how I bring her back to life little by little right here is my little wig stand situation i'm i think i'm gonna get like an actual stand like to stand up soon but for right now i like it right here it's not that bad i got this little thing where you could hook it onto like a table or something and i got this like wig head it also came with it came with two wig caps it came with some wig pins um some needle and it came with some some thread it came with thread how lovely because i was i was running out i didn't have any more and it came with two clips how lovely and another wig cap but this is like a better wig cap but yeah i got that off of amazon for 22 dollars prime baby i ordered it yesterday came today baby and it's up and ready and sitting and here to do what she is here to do so today we're going to bring bianca back to life baby honey sweetie child and yeah i'm gonna bring you guys along with me i'm gonna try to make a tiktok too and see how that works out i hate doing multiple things at one time because i'm gonna also do another video of how i moisturize my hair and braid it down for wigs so that's also going to be a video i'm doing today um well recording today and so i'm gonna be doing a couple videos probably a couple tiktoks and all of that but you guys stay tuned it's gonna be 
something you really want to watch if you don't want to throw away hair that you know is not bad or a wig that you know is not bad i'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it without silicone mix baby we're going to boil this baby down and we're going to bring her back to life oh i can't wait to wear her again i know i'm a naturalista but i also very much am here for protective styles wigs braids all of that that's part of what really helped my hair grow um was wearing wigs so i don't have no problem wearing wigs and i'm not one of them naturalistas that's gonna get on you because you have you always got a wig on i will tell you to let your hair breathe child let your hair breathe a little bit but other than that girl do what you gotta do period i'll be back and show you guys what i do with the wig what i do with the wig Okay, so first things first, you're gonna wanna get yourself a big boiling pot. Um, just wash it out after, girl. It's not that big of a deal. Put the wig inside of it. We're gonna fill it up with water. For that, we're going to put some conditioner in it. This is Ozzy. Ozzy is really good for giving you a like, like real good slip and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put some Ozzy in it. Boom. Next thing we're gonna put in it is some oil. Of course, I'm using my Rebirth grandma's growth grease because period it works wonders and we're going to let it boil so yeah let's do it so yeah child right now we just got sis bubbling we got her sizzling you see that fire going we just got her bubbling it's still a little bit of chunks of um conditioner on the top but I can already feel a difference. Like it's so much softer already and it's only been in the pot for about five minutes. So I'm gonna let this boil um, for probably like 20 more minutes. I really don't know what I'm doing. I just asked my friend like, what can I do? Because I couldn't find no silicone mix. And she was like, girl, put it in a pot, just boil it and put some conditioner on it. And so that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna let this thing boil for about 30 more minutes because I don't think it's gonna need that much. I don't think it's gonna need to boil for that long, but I do want it to boil. It's not boiling yet. It's just warming up. So I'm gonna leave this in for about 20 more minutes, 20 to 30 more minutes. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna show you guys um, what I do after this. So yeah. Okay, y'all. So this is about 30 minutes in and it's boiling. And child, when I say it is soft, like when I say it's smooth, child, I mean, it's smooth. I'm gonna show you guys. But yeah, all this brown that you're seeing on the top is like concealer that I used to put in my little part or whatever. So, I mean, the hair is dirty. Um, so yeah, that's what you're seeing, all that dirt coming out. The brown is so dirty, too. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that closure. Look at that closure. That's a fresh closure, child. Do y'all see that? There is a fresh closure. Like, I'm about to be out here looking like sweetie. They gonna think I'm the baby here. Queen child, what I'm doing. Okay, but it is still a little hard to brush through. The hair is very thick. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some conditioner on it. And, you know, brush it through a little bit more off camera. And I'm gonna show you guys how it looks at the end. But I'm already so excited. Like, look at that. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. The wig is... Uh, what I'm about to do now is I'm just going to brush it in the direction that the hair is going on the wig. So this side's going to go on this side, this side, brush it down, and then I'm going to blow dry it. So uh, as you guys can see, the wig is washed. It looks a lot like it looks a lot more shiny um, and all of that. The bundles underneath, like, I'm just still astounded at how well these kept up. It looks kind of thin right now because it's wet, but when it gets blow-dried, you guys are going to see how thick it really is.
Okay, guys, so as you can see, this is a heat protectant that I use. It's called Silk Blowout by OGX, I believe. And this is my Holy Grail hair blow dryer. I love it so much because it's like a brush form, so it works really easy. I'm going to spray down the hair with the heat protectant, and I'm going to go in with the brush. So the issue with the brush is I try to be lazy and do the entire wig in just one sweeping motion with the brush. But the brush can work really fast. What you have to do is do it section by section so that it can really dry everything. So what I was doing was drying the outer parts of the hair and the inside wefts were still wet. So towards the end of everything, I ended up having to go back in and go section by section, part the hair in the wefts and blow dry it that way so that I wouldn't have to dry the hair or damage the hair with the flat iron so as you guys can see i'm gonna just try to go in with the blow dryer a little bit more pull the hair up and i'm starting to realize that the hair underneath is wet and so i'm gonna go in with it again but if you want to be smarter than me and cut some time and i would hope that you would want to be smarter than me i suggest that you just from the jump take it section by section weft by weft and then just blow dry sis all the way done up and good and everything like that Also, I would suggest just getting a regular wig stand unless you have a table that's really flat and sturdy. This wig stand was giving me a really hard time because it was sliding off of my little bookshelf. It was moving all over the place. It was giving me a really hard time. So I do suggest just get a regular wig stand if you don't want the botteration. Okay, because I know you guys might have been a little bit wary after watching it, you know, be washed and all of that and detangled out. But the wig is giving very much full, okay? She's giving very much full. She's giving very much shake. She's giving very much body. So y'all can see that my closure has a little bit of alopecia. Um, But I'm going to take care of that that's this is nothing to take care of this is absolutely nothing um i'm gonna take care of that right now i blow dried it i need to blow dry it a little bit more because it's kind of wet underneath but after i'm done blow drying it i'm going to flat iron it so it can really be bone straight and yeah i just wanted you guys to see how easy it was to blow dry this hair or all kinds of hair especially thick hair with that blow dryer it's really my saving grace i'm so glad i picked that up from target okay y'all i know y'all seen that alopecia that my wig was going through but i'm about to show y'all what i just did <laughs> do not play with that girl she's not one of them like i'm really not one of them I'm gonna try to show you guys how I did that as best as possible. So what I did was I took this little brush, it's just a regular little makeup brush, and this is my eyebrow palette. It has like a really dark brown, I hope you guys can see that. Really dark brown and like a really dark black and a concealer color. So what I did pretty much was I went through the alopecia parts, like this section right here. And I took a little bit of brown and I tapped it in into the alopecia parts. Tap, tap, tap. Not too much. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to kill it. But you do want to warm up that, that little scalp situation. I went in with a little bit of black and tapped it in. And all I did was just brush it in and, and brush the hairs over the section like that. What I did with the middle part is I took the end of the brush. As you can see, it still has some concealer on it. Dipped it in the concealer and just ran it across this middle piece right here, which will be my part. I'm just putting the color in there and then I just rub it in. And rubbing it in is very essential to making it look supernatural and stuff like that. Brushing down the hairs 
is essential as well. And that's how I got rid of my alopecia. So as y'all can see right here, I'm just taking it section by section in very small sections. I'm taking my rat tail comb, the other end of it, the comb part, and I'm going to rake that past or through my hair whilst I'm doing the flat ironing. You feel me? I'm a natural girl, so I'm not really used to doing flat ironing, but I feel like I did a pretty decent job. So I just wanted to give y'all a rundown of how I did it, even though I feel like everybody pretty know, pretty much knows how to flat iron hair but for the sisters that don't that comb underneath it yeah it does what needs to be done Um, the hair is looking so magnificent, so lovely. I can't wait for you guys to see the finishing product. But I did want to say that I stitched up some areas that need to be stitched up um, because it is an old wig. So, you know, some wefts were a little loose. And I also, um, when, after I finished flat ironing it, I took some mousse and or some setting foam, whatever, something to hold down the flyaways. And I rubbed it all over the front, especially in the top part. So I'm gonna go through it with the flat iron one more time. And that's all that you guys can see for right now until I put the wig on, as well as the finishing look as just a whole. So yeah, ciao. This is my roommate's flat iron. Let me see, Nano Titanium Red. I know she's mad she lost this. Like, I know she's mad that I, I scooped this by mistake because this this thing right here, like, let me show y'all. It even be smoking. It be smoking with how hard it is. Look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna go through it one more time because it's a very thick wig. I told y'all she was thick. Y'all was, y'all was, because she was looking a little thin on the thin side when she was wet. But she's thick, sweetie. I told y'all she was thick. There's some real good hair. I've had this hair for over four years. The hair, the bundles, I had for about four years. About four years. If not four, then three. But um, the closure I got from like the beauty supply store, I just needed like another closure. But yeah, this hair is some really good hair. So if you guys are ever thinking about Julia hair, really good place to go. A bing, bing, bing. A boop, boop, boop. Bing, bing. A bing, bing, bing. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Wait, wait, wait no, we got to put some bing, baby. Boop, 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 boop,
So guys, here is the end result to bringing my wig back to life, baby. It was an all day event, pretty much, but the wig was sitting down in like a corner somewhere for over a year, collecting dust, just knotted up and you know, all kinds of tangled up. So it did, it was a long process, but it was completely worth it to not have to buy new bundles and everything else and still look like a baddie who you know very much give it baddie very much i gotta get my glasses please like comment and subscribe if you want to see more things like this let me know what you guys want me to do in the next one. Comment down below. I lost my voice because I've been partying all weekend with my line sisters. We've been having a great time. Pretty much just celebrating birthdays that didn't get to be celebrated last year in the height of, you know, COVID and everything like that. So I'm super happy that my line sisters got to get good birthdays this year. I'm out here celebrating with them. And that's why I brought my wig back to life because I said... We outside, baby. One thing about us, we outside. I'm about to show my ass. If y'all want more videos with my line sisters in them, I'm sure they'll be like glad to do that because they just love it. We we love it. We baddies around here. We don't hide that from nobody. It was completely worth it. The hair is so good. I might just get some more bundles from there. Really enjoyed the turnout and how everything came together it got me looking real like Aaliyah that's my birthday twin by the way so I can say that if I want to big cat I want to thank you guys for watching this video if you guys want to see more videos like this like comment and subscribe and of course you already know how it is and how we get down i'll see you in the next one and then i'll see you in the next one